You like that booty? <laughs> what? What's up, my boys? It's a pastel ginada vlog. Today is the day, and we are gonna find the best pastel ginada in Lisbon area. We have been through all your comments, and we have collected the top 10 suggestions from you guys. But how do we find the best pastel de nata, you may wonder? We have decided to rate it on five different factors. The first one is the presentation and the aesthetic. So, so beautiful. The second one is the crunch factor. Then we have the nata mess. We have the overall taste. And then we have the X factor of the pastel de nata that we are having. The X Factor and the total score, it's gonna be an Anthony Burdain Pastel de Nazza vlog. Yeah. Only more funny. Did he say that? Welcome to O Pausinho. First of all, if you don't know what a pastel de nata is, you are living on the moon. It's a Portuguese egg pastry tart. We went here because this is the best pastel de nata we have ever had. I think it's uh, it's, it's it's delicate the looking uh, pastel de nata. The but only downside is that I don't like when the top has like a cloudy um, shine. We use a one to five scale. Five is uh, amazing, one is terrible. I think the aesthetics of this one is um, four. I'll give it a three. The crunch here is, uh, if I could give it a 10, but it's a five. Yeah. For the nada, we disagree big time. I would give it three because it has a two sugary taste. The overall score of this pastel de nata is four and a half pastel de natas out of five. We forgot the taste because it tasted so good. It was four and a half. We just drove to O Mercado do Peixe here out of Lisbon. What that? Amigos. Pastel de nata. If you lunch, you can buy. You can only buy a pastel de nata if you are eating a full lunch there. <laughs> Zero out of five. <laughs> We are at Castellino y Benfica. And we've heard good stuff about this place. Hola. Yeah. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this is the prettiest pastel de nata I've ever seen. It is so aesthetically pleasing. It looks like a Van Gogh rendition of the moon. Do you agree with the aesthetics that it's a five? I would say four. The crunch factor is strong. It's not as strong as the Pausinho, but it's definitely a four. The cream magic is exactly what I'm looking for. It's not too sugary. It's a four. The taste is a five. Mm. I would still say it's super sweet, but you don't sense the ache, and I think that's a really good thing. A little more salt, like in the in the crunch, so I will only rate it four. I really like this place because I I felt like a true local. So now we're going to Aloma de Cambolic. Another place that you guys have um... recommended. We made it to Aloma, the best in the town. Let's go and try, hopefully, the best pastel dinner that we have ever had. I like that the thing that you pour the cinnamon with actually is decent. It's like ketchup, either, the other yeah, one. It's like either you get nothing or you get all of it. I think this is the least pretty one we have had today. I agree. Eh, uh, o melhor pastel de nata do, do mundo? No. No? no. Mm. Okay, wait a second. Crunch factor. Four. Nata, five. It's just super smooth. It's, it's really, really elegant. It's super smooth. <laughs> Smooth. Aesthetic, I don't think it's pretty. No. At all, actually. It's a two. It tastes wonderful. Yeah, this taste is amazing. The crunch is disappointing. It wasn't light crunchy, it was heavy crunchy. It was like eating chips, maybe. I don't like that. It's a two and a half. Taste, it's a four and a half. 
it's smooth. It's all about the taste, really. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't give it such low scores and then still rank it high. That's impossible. So it, it's got to be like okay. three, three. No, it's a four. Eight. It's a four in total. I think a good pastel de nada should be beautiful to look at. Yeah. You guys said it. We are going in here. This is pastel de nata heaven. Yeah. Woo is, is this the best pastel de nata in the world? Oh. Aesthetics, Amelia. Where are we at? It's too dusty, but I really like the crust here. Yeah. It's like the fur of a Champenat dog. Foreign aesthetics. Yeah. Thanks. Ooh. Saucy. This taste. Big five. This was insane. Crunch was medium. Three, three. I think this was a four in taste. I think it was a bit too buttery. What? what? I'm not dazzled. I, I'm uh, between I three and a half, four in rating. I was, so let's say four. Oh, oh hi. Oh, you, 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 you know? follow you guys. Oh, yeah. Hey. 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 What's your follow? name? I'm um, Chili. Yes, I just knew we would run into you. Oh, my husband is going to be so bummed because I found you guys. We love meeting you guys. It's such a good feeling to meet actual people that, you know... It's not behind the screen. It's not just a number. And, uh, are you suffering from... Uh, we're walking uphill now because why am I... We're going to Alpama to taste a really good pastel di nata. It's called Nata Lisboa. And, and we uh, actually have a couple of uh, stores, right? Yeah, but we wanted to go to the one in uh, Alfama because that is just a charm you cannot beat. What's up, Rocky? <laughs> the nata is beautiful and very uh, glazed and nice. And the crust is nice too, but I don't like that they haven't made it like smooth. So it's only a four. I think this is actually the prettiest uh, pastel de nata. Uh, today it doesn't have a lot of eggs factor no crunch factor actually very disappointing net uh, magic two a taste as well I think it was a, f uh, a, a two and a half three it was just like a, a weak person you know this place so well needs nata it's super super touristy and they're all over the place and once you get a big chip become a big chain you know it's just somewhere they put it in the oven you know everything is automated and i think obviously that uh, will deduct in the quality it's not awful but it's definitely not good two and a half two and a half yeah. okay I can, let's I can, be fair yeah. but it was pretty <laughs> Welcome to Matinho da Acada. This place is uh, very uh, famous for one reason. There is this person, Fernando Pessoa. He's a worldwide renowned uh, artist back from uh, the 20s and 30s. He used to come here to uh, do some poetry and uh, just wiggle his mind while enjoying a pastel de nata. And this is Fernando Pessoa. Very cool guy. Pastel de nata? Pastel de nata finish. No. Yes. Maybe it's a sign from the gods that uh, only eight pastel de nata today because... I hope. <sighs> More pastel de nata. Posso pedir um nata? It's a very simple design. <laughs> Okay. I'll give aesthetics a uh, four. I think it's, it's pretty. Uh, it's a different kind of uh, looking uh, British denata, pastel de nata. I'll give it three. Yes. <laughs> mm. The taste reminds me of petting a wet dolphin. You can feel the living creature inside this. It's a piece of meat in the pastel de nata way. It's super crunchy. It's like scratching your back through a cliff that's pointing south. Crunch is four and a half. Crunch is a three. Taste, however, is really, really, really good. I would say that it's a five. Really? And taste-wise, where are we at taste? Three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. Okay. Which so, is still up there. Not really. This is where we are. 
Manchetta, manchetta, manchetta. Before I put the cinnamon on, it actually looked really, really, really beautiful. All the Portuguese people we have met since before we moved here actually have told us this particular store is the best one yeah. in Portugal. Ah, that truck. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the dough is a little too thin, so crunch factor. Two. Not so magic. Four and a half. Ah, uh, that good? Yeah. Taste. This one is from me at four. I want the crust to be a little bit more salty. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the natto was uh, was good, but it lacked a bit of charisma. It was like a a good wine that needed a little bit more time in the basement. What is the overall verdict? Three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. It's very fair to include that, given the fact that we've been through uh, eight, seven or eight special Yeah. Maybe it tastes less and less impressive, just like when you're getting drunk an entire evening. The wine. It's only really the first couple of wines that are amazing, and no, then it no, starts no. getting just, this is just wine. where they invented the Pastel de Nada. But the fun thing about the Pastel de Nada is that it's actually invented by French monks. So, Pastel de Nada is actually not Portuguese all the way. <laughs> so we're ending where it all started and um, I'm excited because if this is not the best uh, Pastel de Nada, <laughs> then what, it is, what is it really? I know. Pastel. Oh, it's on the head. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Wow. It's so clean and pretty. More. Uh, uh, mm. Just one bite. Stop. Mm. Oh my god, this is really, really good. This is the best uh, pastel de nata. This one had a taste that none of the other has. Crunch factor, five. Taste, uh, first taste, of all, taste. because that was really good. Taste, but the nata magic. It was like they were using a different recipe than all the others. There was no smushiness. It was like making love in the desert on a blanket made of alpaca wool. Aesthetic 4.5 for me, because I thought it could be a little bit more glazed on top. There was some lack of, um, of perfectness around the corners. It was a five-star uh, pastel de nata. It's quite funny because I wouldn't have believed that this was the best, no. because obviously this is Too just... touristy. Yeah. Uh, but there is a reason why this place is so popular. We are officially Pastel de Nata experts. I would say Belém number one, and then Pausinho and Pastelinho de Benfica are, two. are shared too. Yeah, and then number three would be uh, Fabrica de Nada. The Guardian, they say that Pastel de Nata is the 15th most delicious delicacy in the world. I say because it's number one and that's why you can go to basically any place and have a decent pastel de nata. Just don't go to the freeway uh, stops. But guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we're going to hit the treadmill again. Até logo. Ciao, ciao. Just kidding, it's dinner time.